AFC Bank Stadium once again on the occasion of the OFC Under-17 Championship 2023. It's a beautiful evening just that we've experienced in the past couple of days. No rain to tell you of in a great setting for what is expected to be a thriller. Vanuatu taking on the Cook Islands. It's a Group C encounter here at Lothala Bay in Suva. The pitch in fantastic top shape. well in that second spell against Tahiti but it was a little bit too late coming away with a 2-1 loss that's the man to watch out for the skipper Paul Takaro number 8 he should be the one calling the shots from midfield against the team that uh, played here on Saturday losing 6-0 Lambert Maltok, of course, the president of Vanuatu Football Federation. And that's him right there. Of course, with his uh, other hat and shirt on, the OFC uh, shirt, where he's the president of OFC as well. Uh, of course, deep down entrenched into his heart will be Vanuatu because they are about to run on. 
it's um, going to be an entertaining encounter. Cook Islands, as I said, and then Vanuatu. The Vanuatu will line up. They have not made a single change from the team that lost to Tahiti, Nakawa, Rukesa, Timothy, Loli, Jean Natal, the son of legend of Vanuatu at class, he is Daniel Natal, and Paul Takaro, another youngster who's dead. Peter is the technical director of Vanuatu football. He's there. Chilia, not related, Augustine and Jan, but the famous Chilean name out of Vanuatu, Willy, Mosso, and Luake, who make up. Emerson Alcantara is their coach. And they are playing a 4 2 3 1 formation. Number 10, Augustine Chilia. We saw what he's capable of against Tahiti. He'll be leading the line. And uh, leading the line against that team. Kabetua Nand, who's dead, hails from Fiji. Tuteru, Pita, Dallas, Ringi, Williams, Tutai, Kabuera, Matapo. The Jordan Matapo and Dwayne Matapo, the twins, are starting that game. And number seven, Christopher. Christopher Peter celebrated his birthday yesterday here in Fiji. will be wanting a gift and his teammates will be out to maybe give him a gift for his birthday. And they've also uh, gone for a 4-2-3-1 formation. So the two, uh, two uh, central defenders, Matapo brothers, the twins, will be marshalling the defense for the Cook Islanders as they try and outplay and outdo Vanuatu. It's a great day to be out on the embankment and see, well, you can easily count four, four, four five, at least five sitting out there on the uh, embankment side about to uh, cheer Vanuatu and Cook Islands fans. You can see that on the screen. And they will be trying to add some lung power. To the two teams as the two nations get ready to do battle. The second last pool encounter before we head into the quarterfinals on Saturday. National anthems of the two nations.
So that's done and dusted. The emotions on the faces of players as they get ready. They know this is a big one. As I mentioned, one team only will not make the cut. Every other nation will feature in the quarterfinals. These two teams in contention. The battle for the time being is to finish in that second sport and then let the mathematics take care of itself for tomorrow night. That's our match officials for tonight. Solomon Islands, Timothy New, Solodia, I shall know. And Calvin Berg, who had an impressive game the other night, is the fourth official here today. As I mentioned, one game was played earlier on. Nicoledonia thumping American Samoa 7 0. That was in Bar. Bar is done and dusted in terms of venue wise. Cook Islands getting the mandatory team photos get done. That will be for years to come. I'm looking forward to 18 and 19, the twins, Jordan Matapo and Dwayne Matapo. Two center halves. Vanuatu getting their chance now. Look out for number eight, Paul Takaro. He played exceptionally well in that midfield. And Daniel Natal, who featured here some years ago, Champions League football, then went across to the Solomon Islands, uh, rather Papua New Guinea, I believe it was. His son, Jean Natal, number five, is also featuring. Those are the skippers, the 19, Dwayne Matapo, one of the twins, and number eight for Vanuatu, Jean Petriano, not our rather, Paul Takaro, my apologies, the skipper. Vanuatu wins the toss. Decide what they want to do, talk to the referee, and we'll be ready to roll in a couple of minutes' time. The match officials getting their high fives all sorted. So the teams will change sides. Vanuatu decide to take the left of your screen and Cook Islands to the right, uh, the seaward side of Lodala Bay's uh, sporting complex. That's where the breeze comes from. Get ready under Mr. Timothy New to get us going for this OFC and the 17 Championship Group C encounter of Vanuatu versus Cook Islands. Off underway here at the HFC Bank Stadium, Vanuatu and Cook Islands. Let's see what we've got for the next 90 minutes. I'm expecting fireworks from these two teams, regardless of what's happened the first game. Cook Islands trying to get something going. That's the uh, player with Fijian connection, Tion and Nan, playing on home soil. At least he's dead's home soil, but he's a Cook Islander. But Vanuatu with an early chance. Watch out for this man, Chilia. Again, Vanuatu set it up for him, and he gets a first chance, and whoa! That would be the fastest goal in this tournament, if I'm not mistaken. I said, watch out for this man, who's been an impressive form, even against Tahiti. And this time, Augustin Chilia gets us going. How many seconds was that? Absolutely brilliant, Vanuatu. Played through by Jan Chilia. And then, first time played through, the ball played through by Jimmy Mormo. Jimmy Mosso set it up. And that man, Augustin Chilia, has opened the account for Vanuatu. 1 0. Not a start, America, uh, Cook Islands. Would have been one thing in the first minute of play. Islands will have to tighten those gaps in the defense because Vanuatu have got skillful boys. A great pass, the through ball from Jimmy Mosso. Meanwhile, Cook Islands with a chance. Oh, 
this is what we expect for the next 88 minutes. Strap yourselves in. Who said under 17 levels don't give you exciting football? This man, Jimmy Mosso, or rather, this is uh, Romain Luake. That's the skipper. And again, they're trying to display the th straight ball through to split the but, uh, Cook Islands defenders. Must have identified a weakness somewhere there. It's all professional football now, video analysis, etc., that gives the coaches to top up with the game plan. And there's Tion and Nan. Arukesa. People still coming in, as you can see on the screen, the Vanuatu fans with their flags. They would have missed the first goal, most probably. They'll be hoping they get to see a couple of more goals before this game's over. Again, Vanuatu and Cook Islands dispossess them. The shape of Vanuatu's defense. I was talking to uh, a couple of renowned coaches in the OFC region earlier on, just before he came into the commentary box, and they were telling me how impressed they were with the likes of Samoan players just having that ability to open up in defense and play the ball and play constructive football. Samoa has been getting a lot of praises the improvement that they've made. A good news for Oceania football is more football to come in the international window in March whereby there's a proposed four nations tournament, well at least a three nations tournament, Vanuatu, Solomon Islands, Fiji in the 20s and the Fijian national team to be played here. So more football action to come internationally. Great for OFC again, Vanuatu's foray into the penalty area of the Cook Islands. Doesn't reap the rewards as yet. Timothy Arukesa to get them going again. Great to see former referee and a man part of Vanuatu football, Harry Atkinson. Atkinson. Brother, part and parcel of it here again. Vanuatu dispossessed and this time it is ringing. Can't run rings around the Vanuatu defenses yet. Vanuatu get going once more. Coached by Emerson Alcantara. Of course, it's showing the pattern of play. Uh, Vanuatu also spent the better part of the early arrival into Fiji in the Western Division, an unfortunate that the uh, weather didn't assist them because they failed to train. And hence, they say no excuses, but one of the reasons for their performance against, the first, against Haiti in the first half. Match fitness also aspect, but now they've got going again. A looping ball over the top, and it's Luake. Looks up, Luake will cut it in on his left. Not a good one into the penalty area. Skipper, Dwayne Matapo is there. Cook Islands. 
Good run. Williams. Joseph Nakao for Vanuatu, the stopper, had to come out to ensure no danger came into his penalty area. Emerson Alcantara is guiding his boys and telling them, what are you doing? Tighten it up. Leaving gaps and spaces for these uh, Nick, uh, Cook Island players, rather, Cook Island's players to uh, penetrate. Corner kick for the Cook Islands. to the area the goalkeeper comes out no the referee says there's a push in the penalty area a free kick for Wanuatu Islands have played well since that goal in the first minute. But Vanuatu now, Luake. Luake combines well with Arukesa. Cut out by Tutiri. there by Augustin Chilia, the goal scorer, the lanky striker. Let's see it again. It's the push from the skipper, Dwayne Matapo. He'll be happy, uh, Chilia. Also learned something new today that uh, in Vanuatu, the Chilia name, the famous Chilia name, there's a uh, one set of Chilia family name has a double L and the other has a single L. So that's, that's another interesting thing. Remember the years back when Seymata Chilia, the dynamic midfield maestro for Vanuatu and Oceania football again. Cook Islands clearance, not a good one, but they get it away. And then David Chilia, the goalkeeper, whose son plays football plays equally well as defender and goalkeeper but he's also a gold medalist in beach volleyball for Vanuatu so quite a talented set of footballers and sports people to come out from Vanuatu Skipper leading by example. To the 12th minute of play, we have gone Vanuatu with an early goal in the first minute, continue to lead in this Group C encounter. It's always great to see Cook Islands in action in the Oceania region. They've always uh, come across, uh, tried and uh, played and provided competition and just being part and parcel of OFC competitions, which is great to watch. Vanuatu, one of the uh, bigger nations in this part of the uh, region. We watched them at the recent, uh, well, not recent, a couple of months ago at the OFC Futsal Championships in Suva. 
a lot of skills there in futsal. And of course in football as well, they have a lot of good players. Brian Kaltak is their biggest star right now playing out of uh, well, playing in the A League in Australia. These players will definitely be wanting to follow in his footsteps, these youngsters. Again, Vanuatu playing the ball over the top, trying to find the other Chilia, Jan Chilia this time. Jan moves away, works away. What can he corner up here? Jan Chilia, one too many, it's going to be cleared away by the Cook Islands defence. Here, there's someone available on the right, failed to give it, and this time Cook Islands is ringing. That's a good try, a good take there. Yes. Dallas, Romokea, who tried his luck from range, well covered by Nakao. Again, Dallas, not a bad attempt, shot on target. to his skipper, Takaro, and they'll get going again. Takaro, he look up. Albert Timothy. To Teru, guiding his players, telling them where to mark as Timothy Arukesa gets us going again. Anwatu. Ruake. Shows some great footwork. And then Chilia plays it out onto the left. They look for an opening. Not that pass that his men up front were wanting. So it just goes out, rolls out the skipper. Coming to, uh, to get us going. Cook Islands did lose their goalkeeper on uh, Saturday night, it was, through injury. So they've made a replacement today and they've got one goalkeeper on the bench. Usually we have every team having two reserve goalkeepers. Unfortunate injury on Saturday night. Means they left with two at least for this game as Cook Islands try to set up something. Doesn't work. Vanuatu. What can they orchestrate? Nothing much as yet, at least in that facet of play. Cook only playing at the moment from the defense seems to be like to scare it away from the danger area. Manuatu and ball.
Cook Islands only playing at the moment from the defense seems to be like just get it away from the danger area. Anuatu and ball. seems to be like just get it away from the danger area Anuatu and ball Islands only playing at the moment from the defense seems to be like just get it away from the danger area. Anuatu and ball. Cook Islands only playing at the moment from the defense seems to be like just get it away from the danger area. Anuatu and ball. Area is in an offside position. Romain Luwake. Directed by his coach Emerson Alcantara, telling him what to do in those okay uh, in those situations on those occasions.
coach for Cook Islands, Tahiri Elikana, the head coach. Manuatu get a chance again. They call for a handball. The referee says no. Play carries on. Losing possession was uh, Jean Patriano Natal. In the 24th minute of this game, still from that first minute goal, Vanuatu leads. Nothing much to celebrate since then for either of the two teams. Scrappy affair so far. So push well picked up by Timothy New. First day, first of the pool games, we've seen a number of fans out on the embankment. Great evening to be out there to be watching an under-17 encounter. Cool with the breeze. For those who are not aware of where the stadium is located, it's just next to the seaside here in Suva. So on an evening like this, it's enjoyable to be watching some good football sitting on that embankment. Again, almost giving away possession was Jeff Willey. They managed to get it back to the goal scorer, Chilia. He loses it. Just that. Those plays are not impressing Emerson Alcantara. Everyone seems to be bunched in that midfield and we saw that again, they're trying to play and just that touch, the first touch letting players down on occasions. Kukalans will be happy to have maintained that one nil deficit past the halfway stage in the first half. This time, Mosso is on the other side. So will be Natal in front of his uh, fans with the Vanuatu flag. Standing too tight there. So tomorrow we have the last of the pool games here. At this venue, will be Tonga taking on Fiji. And then the draw for the quarterfinals will take place following that, which will be played here on Saturday and Sunday. Two quarterfinals on Saturday and two on Sunday. And then on the semifinals next Wednesday and then the finals the following Saturday. With two teams trying to qualify or two spots available for the FIFA Under-17 World Cup in Peru. Played in November. It's also there. Christopher Peter, the birthday boy, celebrated his birthday yesterday, trying to battle with Natal. Natal comes out on top. And that pass is going to frustrate this man more. Emerson Alcantara. Cook Islands get a free kick. A handy position. Can Dallas Romokia step up for this one? He's already tried a few and that was it. Straight into the back. Albert Timothy into Ringi. The 
are there, well, Tutiru is there, and they're leaving it for Williams, Jeremiah Williams. That wall needs to tighten up, still gaps in there, but over the mall are Tutiru. He'll drive, good drive. Too much direct. Goalkeeper had it covered all the way through, but a good drive. Interceptions consecutively gives away a corner this time. The skipper to deliver, Paul Takaro. He looks for his runners in the penalty area. There's a short one. Arukesa wasted. It's not working for Vanuatu since that goal. They've had some good quality ball outside of the penalty area, but the final ball or the final play into the dangerous areas has not come. That is going to give Cook Island some confidence. It's Cook Island, the longer they can keep Vanuatu at bay. That one goal lead, they will know that they still are in this game and we're well, truly, well and truly are in this game, uh, Cook Islands. As we head into the 31st minute. Looking for one of the Chilia boys. Jimmy Morso and Augustino up front, but didn't work for them, Cook Islands. Just that the way this game started with the goal early on in the first 60 seconds or so set the platform. We haven't seen much attempts on goal so far after that. Nothing much for the two keepers to do apart from uh, Nakao having to save from that free kick. Trying to find a good ball, just that touch there from Ringi took it away from him and his play of Christopher Peter who up front straight to Nakao. Again, Cook Islands win possession. They float it over the top this time. Natal. Okay. Pops up on the other side of the field. Chilea, the goal scorer, gets fouled. That's Tuteru, I think it was Shane Tuteru. Yes, it was. It's one. Good. 
referee there. Through the jersey of Chile. So the skipper to take this set piece and set it up for his attackers. There's three, four, four players from Vanuatu up on the edge of the penalty area. A skipper there with Jimmy Mosso. Who will be the architect for this set piece? Mosso leaves it for his skipper who delivers in the penalty area. Away again by the Cook Islands defense. Yeah, Vanuatu get a chance. This time Ian Chilia gets taken down. He's on the edge of the penalty area. Ian Chilia, good through ball play too, Ian. He moved away and the skipper miscued. The ball was way away from him. Dwayne Matapo taking down Ian Chilia. Be a set piece as a water break it is where everybody comes to the sideline to have a sip of water. These youngsters need that as they have been playing for the last 34 odd minutes. As Yan Chilia receives attention in the penalty area. Eroni Tavalea, the physiotherapist for Vanuatu. Right, he's been told to go off. Cook Islands coach Tahiri Elikana talks to his players. And it will be a set piece on the edge of the Cook Islands penalty area. And my bet is the skipper, Paul Takaro. Paul Takaro could be the one who will take it upon himself to try and deliver something for this yellow brigade. That's Jimmy Mosso, together with Romain Luake. This is the orchestrator of the first goal, Jimmy Mosso, number 21, into the 36th minute. And he sets it up. That wall's got to move back. That's not the mandatory meters. Timothy Neal counts it for the team of Cook Islands. Tells them to move back. Paul Tuckero has got a deadly foot on him. The son of Peter. Technical director for Vanuatu football. Well, let's see what this youngster can deliver. Will it be a direct route or will he look for a set-piece play that they've practiced in training? It'll be known in a couple of seconds as the referee gives the go-ahead. He'll drive it. He drives it. Good save. Vanuatu get the rebound, but the good save by goalkeeper. Gamatua, and also took it on the second occasion. He saw the gap, Paul. He drove it. He stepped away by... Gametua and the two following Vanuatu players failed to capitalize. Gametua took it again and gets us going again with a long kick into the Vanuatu territory. Again, Vanuatu creates some space on that left side. And they get taken down once again. Another free kick on the edge of the penalty area of the Cook Islands. 
Jan Chilia once again getting taken down. Just came back. He recovered a couple of moments ago. Jan Chilia making that run. Moved away. And Stanley to tie. Didn't let him go. So again, the skipper will make his way onto that embankment side. The angle might be a little too tight for a direct route. But again, who knows? This nippy skipper for Vanuatu has got tricks up his sleeve. Could even measure it up. So he's got five to aim at. Well, two more making a run in the penalty area. Seven. Has a free run been made at the back post. Headed away by the skipper for Cook Islands. And what to get a chance. And they try to drive it. Luake hits the crossbar. And then Jan Chilia. Uh, crossbar is said to be the goalkeeper's best friend. That time it definitely was. The best friend for Gametua. Smile there from Jimmy Mosso. Came in. They drove it back. It is Romain Luaki. He lobbed it. The goalkeeper was well beaten, but the crossbar came to his rescue. Cook Islands player down. Looks like it is a shame. Tutiru. Yes, it is. It's his ankle. Chilia. Going again, Cook Islands. Shippers out of play. Islands.
was well beaten and the crossbar came to his rescue. Down. Looks like it is a shame. To Tiro, yes, it is. It's his ankle. Get going again, Vanuatu. Jan Chilia.
We were talking about these Vanuatu. They have missed chances. And uh, this time, the goalkeeper. With a blunder that he'll not be happy with. Once that happens, Timothy New says it's enough. It's Vanuatu 1, Cook Islands 1. What a game we've got coming up in the second half. If that last couple of seconds was anything to go by. Both teams tied at 1-all OFC Under-17 Championship 2023.
slow poking this ball fast. Ramit Chua. Great ball played through by Romain Luake. I'm guessing Celia. At that stage, Monwatu would have been thinking rather it's all happening for them. This man's got a right foot on him. Dallas Rongokea. And this free kick from Cook Islands, driven straight by Tuteru, was taken well by Nakao. Monwatu got a chance, saved well by Gamatua. It was the skipper. Paul Takaro, follow up, not there. The Gametua was able to gather. Then they got a freaking moments later. This is what happened. Laid back. And Romain Luake hit the crossbar. Was that a signal for things to come? This should have been an easy collect for the goalkeeper. Miscommunication by Timothy Arukesa and Nakao. And right there was Jeremiah Williams to pounce. Good work. Putting the pressure was Tione Nan. That was in the forty seven minute, two minutes of added time. So that's how it stands. But what to what of OFC Under-17 Championship 2023 Group C Encounter Vanuatu versus Cook Islands Well Who would have thought What we saw in those last seconds of the first half It's been the uh, Story of the start and end of that half And that's how the two teams stood As they went to the breather Vanuatu 1 Cook Islands 1 it started off in the first minute. Augustin Chilia. So poking that ball fast. Yamechua. Great ball played through by Romain Luake. Augustin Chilia. At that stage, Monwatu would have been thinking rather it's all happening for them. This man's got a right foot on him. Dallas Rongokea and this free kick from Cook Islands driven straight by Tuteru was taken well by Nakao Manuatu got a chance saved well by Gamatua it was the skipper Paul Takaro follow up not there the Gamatua was able to gather then they got a freaking moments later this is what happened laid back Romain Luake hit the crossbar. Was that a signal for things to come? A sign more. This should have been an easy collect for the goalkeeper. Miscommunication by Timothy Arukesa and Nakao. And right there was Jeremiah Williams to pounce. Good work. Putting the pressure was Tione Nan. And that was in the 47th minute, two minutes of added time. That's how it stands. Vanuatu 1, Cook Islands 1. Got an absolutely exciting second 45 coming up shortly. Well, they had eight shots on target, Vanuatu. Only got one in. The Cook Islands got one from the four. A couple of fouls to tell you about. No cards so far. So Vanuatu 1, Cook Islands 1 as we gear up for the second spell. Just looking at the... Uh, Two sides don't look like there's been any changes. Mr. Calvin Berg, who's the fourth official, is there. No, it doesn't have a board, so that should be all ready to roll with the same set of 22 from the first spell.
So, just waiting uh, for the match coordinator to give the go ahead for the restart. And Timothy New, the referee. That crowd has built here at the HFC Bank Stadium. As people have come in to watch. Vanuatu versus Cook Islands. It should be getting underway for the second spell in a couple of seconds. Yeah. And we should be getting going right about now. And there you go, second half gets underway. One all. Haven't had a draw in this tournament so far. That's where we stand at the moment. But Cook Islands with possession. Maruatu trying to look for the goal scorer up in the penalty area. A skipper at the time, I think it was. Again, Vanuatu, the skipper, get his chance. Hits his own player. Vanuatu with a chance in the second spell. Hits the cross into the goal. That definitely confused the goalkeeper. Damatua, because Jimmy Mosso, he took, he got space in the penalty area, Jimmy Mosso. His drive hit the post and bounced in. a deflection Jimmy got a chance he cut it away and look at that drove it in off the post Gametua couldn't do much Wanuatu get the start exactly like what they did in the first spell an early goal Jimmy Mosso two minutes into the second spell Again, Vanuatu get possession. Chilia. Really? Now you can hear the Vanuatu faithful in the stands. Jimmy Mosso. Finds the towel. Foul. Son of Daniel Natal, that man on the screen. In the former Vanuatu International. It's got clipped by Christopher Peter. So, Vanuatu will launch through the skipper. The goal scorer is there as well, Jimmy Mosso. He leaves it for his keeper, who drives into the penalty area. Coming to the back post was Chilia. So Carlos managed to clear it away, not too far. But what will come back again? And they launch. Not too far off. Cook Islands will try and calm the situation down in terms of trying to kill play. Vanuatu has started on a fiery note. It's Romain Luake who drove there. Cook Islands 
get a force in the situation here. That's going to go straight to the goalkeeper. Stanley Tutai should have done better. Cook Islands to launch. They get possession. They lose it. Onoatu clear it away. Romain Luake. He loses it to Cook Islands. They try to look for someone in the penalty area. Yeah, Romain Luake has got space in front of him. He's got good support runners who are making the run off the ball. Can he find them? He finds the skipper who drives. Balls for a handball. Referee says no. It's a throw in given instead. And this is what happened. The skipper drove. It looked like it from here, but it'll carry on. There's Manuatu. Scorers, Chilia. So, Cook Islands lose position, or rather, Barwa to lose position, Cook Islands to. That's not how you take a throw in, so Vanuatu will get position. Tamuera. The support there from Vanuatu faithful in the stand, in the embankment on the embankment with the terraces. Vanuatu, Arukesa. Shane to Tiru to get us going. 53rd minute of the second, well, of this match into the second spell we are. Pushing there on the Cook Islands player, Nan. Alfred Ross, Timothy Arukesa. So Cook Islands get a free kick. in the back of Nunt. Now, what can Kugalins do? It will be Tuteru. Floats it into the penalty area. Kugalins, still with position. With a chance, Kugalins, here. They get another chance, but no. Cleared away by the Vanuatu defenders. Kind of a couple of bites of the cherry in that penalty area. There's space created. This is the foul, Chilia. Moved away, but Stanley too tight. The culprit.
not working out there for one or two at the time. So Cook Islands will get us going. Remember, as I mentioned earlier on, one more game left in the pool stages of the OFC and the 17 Championships 2023, and that'll be tomorrow at this venue where Tonga plays Fiji. And following that, we will then know the eight teams, or at least we know a couple of teams in the quarters already, We'll know all the eight teams who have qualified, and following that, there'll be a draw for the quarterfinal matchups that will take place at this venue on Sunday and Sunday. Anwatu, Natao, Chilia. Tries to find another Chilia that's Yan with space. Safety number two up. Cook Islands would have been delighted at halftime more than Vanuatu, I suppose, with an equalizer on the second spell has worked in Vanuatu's favor as they come again. Wave after wave attack now. They get a chance, a header from Chile, not the direction. Let's get us going again. Just around 8.15 local time in the evening here on a Tuesday night. Vanuatu, Romain, gets fouled, yeah, called back correctly by referee Smith and you. Romain Luake, dropping a foul. Tione Lan, the culprit. But Timothy well, leaves it. The skipper is there. He plays it to Timothy Arukesa. Doesn't work. of Vanuatu fans out on the well, fans from both sets of teams out in the terraces there as the action continues on the far side Arukesa now Natal in space he drives <laughs> leg save there by the goalkeeper rather than taking any risk Matua Again, we're not to get a chance cleared away by Matapo, Dwayne Matapo it was. That's how it created some space for himself with that drive. See him there, right foot drive. Just to be sure, Gamatua used his right foot to stop that and to take it with his hands. Jeremiah Williams, the goal scorer. Cook Islands there battling, but Vanuatu to win possession back. It's a foul by Jan Chilia. Creating the foul 
Ron Stanley to tie. says play on look like a foul from where we are but closer to the action Mr. New and Rocky now come back and Ratu portion of bounds the skipper easy for number two up he takes that on the Cook Islands bench okay, in front of us. Cook Islands. Now, Peter. This is it. Yeah, the defender sweeping it away. Waduatu gets an attacking throw, but before that, there'll be substitutions taking place. A double substitution for the Cook Islands. Akai Tuakil and Haram Umanga to come on. So coming off will be Dwayne Matapo, the skipper. Hands the skipper's armband to Jeremiah Williams. Cook Islands replacements. And also coming off is Tione Nan. And that comes off, Hiram. The skipper now is Jeremiah Williams. And we get going again. Vanuatu on attack. water break going well at least they pick up a sip of water during the injury break get foul we we'll get a free kick going lowly junior or lowly The technical group next to our commentary sport is also keeping an eye out on to who will be the player of the match. That will come in a bit later. 
great to have uh, the brains trust of Oceania football involved in this age group competition where it all starts as the future for most of these players will move up to the under 19s in the Olympics playoffs, Olympic playoffs rather and then onto the senior side in the future we'll see them for years to come this is where the journey begins That's a new way of throwing in that I've seen. That was a one-hand throw, I think. From the Cook Islands player. So the advantage handed to Vanuatu. They take it the correct way. Good to see some... There you go. Oh, that was American football squad. That's not allowed, unfortunately, in football. So, have to do better than that the next time as Vanuatu. Loli. To Natal. Flicks it with his right foot, looking for Chile up front. And putting the pressure on the Cook Islands defenders, getting a throw in deep into the Cook's territory. That was Jordan Matapo, whose twin brother, Dwayne, the skipper, has gone off now. John Petriano, Natal, gets us going. Chilia. Skipper. Takaro lays it back. Whoa. Good drive. Yeah, Chilia. Couldn't hit the target. Laid it back for... Takaro for Jan Chilia, but just couldn't calculate the range and the angles, just too far up. Again, just like in the first half, the Cook Islands can keep this score line. They'll be very happy as they head into the latter part of this game to the 68th minute. Okay. Again, a chance here for Vanuatu. Oh, but the whistle goes. There was a flag on the other side. Jeffrey Solodia, I think it is. Oh, Jeffrey's on this island from Nicaledonia, the second assistant referee. Picked up an offside, so Cook Islands relieved with that. This is where the uh, kids start getting and learning the best tactics of football at the international level. You should the two teams or whichever two teams qualify for the World Cup, the FIFA World Cup, they'll be more technically advanced players regardless of their age. With the development of football as Vanuatu with a chance here. Ian Celia. Cleared away by the Kukala's defenders. Romain. Which is way away, Romain Luake. Carlos letting it bounce and they clear it away. As I was mentioning, a FIFA 
under 17 World Cup where we'll come again come up against some of the best there is or they are in the business of football from clubs all over the world as this time the flag does go up won't count or anything in the past we've had the likes of Xavi Hernandez Fernando Torres Ronaldinho Francesco Totti Buffon, the famous Italian goalkeeper, Ike Casillas, who also played for Spain, the stopper, Neymar, Carlos Tevez and the like, Cesc Fabregas, who all played in the N17 World Cup. So, of course, it does start the career of the greatest players on the planet when it comes to playing at the top level of football. Whoever is the qualifier from here is again Vanuatu, Chile, this time, bundled away. Referee says no, it's all good. Raheem Sterling played in Mexico on the 17 World Cup in 2011. Allison, the goalkeeper from Liverpool, the Brazilian, Nigeria in 2009. As you see Vanuatu again, the chance for this crop of youngsters to come up against some of the best in the world, as I mentioned. Adriano from Brazil played in New Zealand in 1999. London Donovan as well in New Zealand, just did our doorsteps in Oceania, Ronaldinho in Egypt in 97. So, could be taking names of our Oceania stars in the future. Alessandro Del Piero all the way back in 1991. And the great Luis Figo played for Portugal in the under 17 World Cup in Scotland. 1989. So, some prestigious company at the under 17 level. And there's a chance for Oceania to rub shoulders with some of the best in the world. We'll definitely be hearing more of in the future. In the meantime, in front of us, into the 73rd minute, still Vanuatu with that one goal lead, 2 1. over the Cook Islands. Cook Islands about to make another substitution shortly. Again, Vanuatu, Chilia, Jan, trying to move away. The skipper takes control of it, Takaro. He goes down, clutching his ankle, I think it is. In the meantime, Terapai Karan comes on. Shane Tutero is off. That's the confirmation for you. Still receiving attention, Paul Takaro. we get going again. Cook Islands. Well, it's going back to, from Albert Timothy to his goalkeeper. Nakao. Who finds Romain Duarte. Romain. Again. Just not having the control. Losing possession. Gifting it to Cook Islands. 
will be something that the coach Emerson Alcantara will be talking about to his team when they build up next couple of days again through ball there Jan Chilia and then gives it away loses possession Cook Islands a lot of space for the replacement not a good play there by Akai to a kill and Vanuatu will try and build from the back Manuatu, come through. Can they get something going? Walking away. And the goalkeeper fumbles it, cleared away by his defender. run by Arukesa, tightest of angles, reminiscent of Rivaldo it was, if I'm not mistaken, 2002 FIFA World Cup at that, from, the, from that angle, but Vanuatu come back again. Ah, that's an attack on. Talking about stars and looking at our own New Zealand under-17s from this part of the world, the likes of Costa Barbarossas, Corey Chattelberg, Jacob Matthews, all have played at this level and uh, Costa Barbarossas with the Wellington Phoenix nowadays so, so big names have come through the ranks into the last 15 or so minutes plus at a time minimum that will be shown at the end of it still no change to the score from that 47th minute and we have the goal the second goal from Vanuatu so Vanuatu still leads by two goals to one they've had a few chances in between that and now they haven't converted it so this movement on their bench now they'll be looking at putting some fresh pairs of legs onto the pitch just to maybe get things sorted. Again, a good ball. Jan Chilia makes space for himself. Can he find his supporting players up front in the penalty area? He looks up. And this time, Natal. Oh, that's taken down. Foul by Curran. Was just come on. And for Vanuatu, Delixon, Judah will be coming onto the pitch. And he will replace Jan Chilia. So, more firepower up front from coach Emerson Alcantara looking for that um, most probably the goal that could put the nail in the coffin for the Cook Islanders in the meantime it, when play restarts the skipper will be over the ball with a set piece opportunity for Vanuatu it's Judah goes straight up front into the penalty area again it's Mosso and Takaro Also is shaping up. Takaro looks more of the relaxed of the two. It should be a direct drive from the body position. Takaro drives, the goalkeeper will collect. Gavetua.
Good ball again, creating some space there, Vanuatu. Gathered by the goalkeeper, they're trying to look for Augustin Chilia. Gametua proved to be the difference. Gametua unleashes one. Chilia is back, helping defend, is it? No, that wasn't Chilia. Chilia is up front, so one more to get going again. Willie, it was at that time, so a trickle out of play. Vanuatu will get a throw deep into the territory. Albert Timothy from Vanuatu, and that's Ringi. Number nine for Cook Islands. So the last substitution coming on soon for. Cook Islands, last two rather. Vanuatu, into the last 10 minutes of the game. Last nine rather. Vanuatu, looking at wrapping this one up and finishing second in the pool and definitely qualifying for that quarterfinal, America, uh, rather, Cook Islands will have to wait just like American Samoa and most probably after tomorrow's game will be in a better position to know what happens. Through ball for the replacement, doesn't wear. Judah, in the meantime, Cook Islands to make the substitutions. Gustav Julio Tao comes on. Uh, Christopher Peter goes off, Ioane Brogan comes on, and also coming on, for, there you go, Ioane Brogan on for Christopher Peter, Iga, Joel and Tao, Also has been in the thick of things. He's played well in this game. One of the better players is some cramps before Vanuatu, I think it is. Or both players have gone down in the heap. Albert Timothy, the defender for Vanuatu. This is what happened. Timothy Arukesa. Albert Timothy, something off the ball. Pull something, so receiving attention. On the other side is Timothy Arukesa. Skipper, checking on his players. Albert Timothy at the moment. Jimmy Moses' second half goal keeps Vanuatu in the lead. goes Timothy Erukesa and also Albert Timothy. So Vanuatu for the moment will be playing with nine players. Need to go off before they can come back in. This is upon the instructions from Timothy New.
Rame Luake. It's a bit, a bit too high. Into the 85th minute we go. Cook Islands. Been looking at launching this one deep into the Vanuatu penalty area. Trying to cash in with anything that might come their way. As it did into the dying stages, or at least the added time of the first spell. Cook Islands. A chance. And they get a free kick. Good position. Jealous. Rumo Kea. Take it down. Cut comes out for the Vanuatu skipper. Paul Takaro. This is how it happened. Paul Takaro taking down his opposing number eight as they try to explain to the referee what happened. Adela Srongokia, and when this is over, Cook Islands will get a set piece in a very handy position, and they have got some powerful shooters in this team. Sakaro with the yellow card. Looking like Julia Tao is over the ball. Also is Jeremiah Williams, the goal scorer for the first half. That's Dallas from Okea. So, Tao and Jeremiah Williams. What can they do? Again, dying stages of this game. Cook Islands into the 88th minute. Need to have a quick committee discussion. We pass the message to Curran as to what will transpire. Maybe getting him to open up that wall, the Vanuatu defenders. Lining it up. Here he comes. Drive off the wall. Well defended. And then he takes down the and he gets a yellow card. So frustration. Taking down the skipper, Takaro. Takaro had moved away. And then Julia Tao taking him down. Yellow card to him. Two cards in the out of minutes in the dying stages of this match. So, he gets attended to. have the skipper back. The skip says he's all good. Let's go again. Don't have much time left in this one. Directions from Emerson Alcantara. Telling his players don't rush things. They're into the dying stages. So, you know, take it easy. Keep possession. Manuatu. Looking for Chilia. Caro gets it. Manuatu with a chance. He had to wrap it all up. The drive saved well. 
by the stopper, Gabatua. It was left then. Jimmy Mossel. He's had a good game. Judah. Couldn't get on the end of that one. So we've got four minutes of added time minimum in this game. Four minutes for Cook Islands to salvage something. Four minutes for Vanuatu to secure a spot into the quarterfinals. Who they play will be known tomorrow night. In the meantime, Vanuatu, Judah. This pass for his skipper doesn't work out. Foul first and take it down. Jordan Matapo. to make a change Jimmy Mosso comes off Cicini Tasso another of the famous Tasso names from Vanuatu no, Robert Tasso played for Vanuatu so Cicini Tasso comes off Cook Islands will be a foul and Manga by Cook Islands. Romain Luake still working hard just like he did in the first spell and in the second spell so far. Loses possession, runs quickly back into position. Monwatu again, get possession back. Throw in into the dying seconds of this game. 30 odd seconds remain. One right. Not a good throw. Will be given back to Cook Islands to get things going. One right to will go back into position. Cook Islands to take the throw. Now this is the guy who. but gets it going. Vanuatu get possession back into the dying seconds. Now, Cook Islands. <laughs> Misunderstanding between the two Cook Islands players. And Judah takes it away. But Cook Islands, a final chance. Probably. To be a Cook Islands throw. Foray, no. There it is. Cook Islands advancing into the referee's time we go. Islands, based on this result, we'll have to wait for it. Yeah, as we say that, the referee does call for full time. Vanuatu finishes second in this pool with a 2-1 win over the Cook Islands. Cook Islands, we'll have to wait till tomorrow. But an entertaining encounter. A couple of early goals in the two spells. It has handed Vanuatu maximum points. That means Vanuatu finish in second spot behind Tahiti in this group and of course will now take their place in the last eight to be played here over the weekend 
in the IFC and the 17 Championship 2023 in Group C. And Jimmy Mosso, who we picked out as an outstanding performer, has been awarded the man of the match. Great choice. Scored a goal in the second spell. Well, the winning goal, you could class it as now. And Jimmy Mosso. We'll be delighted with that. He gets the applause from the fans. There he is. Jimmy Mosso. Watch this man in the future. Jimmy Mosso walks away with his award. There you go. He'll pose for the cameras. family in Vanuatu will be extremely proud of this youngster. Shimi Moso, but Vanuatu with a 2-1 win here at the HFC Bank Stadium in Suva. Got one more game, there'll be tomorrow in the pool stages, Tonga taking on Fiji. And this was an entertaining encounter. And this is how we got going in the first